We are introducing topic two, which is materials costing and control. Yeah, topic two, cost and management accounting. So we are going to start by defining what materials are. The term material refers to all the commodities that are consumed in the process of production and other operations. That's what we call materials, the inputs in the production, process and then other operations of the organization so materials is um, an important part of cost of a product they contribute to the costing of a product and without material or stock no manufacturing or any other operations can take place so they are so important and materials are needed in all forms of operating environments in every corner of the organization they need materials those materials can be pens rims of paper and other stuff so they are needed in all forms of operating environments let's look at material classifications so materials take three forms and that is the raw materials like those that are bought from outside then the work in progress they are being worked on then the finished goods which is like the output so materials can also be direct and then indirect materials direct materials form an integral part of the finished product and they can easily be identified with the final product for example in the process of baking the cake it is obvious that there is sugar. You can feel it that there is sugar. But like in the process of baking, they use um, an oven. You cannot feel the oven when you're eating the cake. Or you cannot feel the charcoal or the electricity that was used. So the charcoal becomes the indirect material it was also part of the process but you can't identify it with the final product so the difference between direct materials and indirect materials is that direct materials form an integral part of the finished product and they can easily be identified with the final product whereby indirect materials do not where there are materials there is materials control. Those materials must be controlled. And materials control basically aims at making sure that materials are purchased. Then they are stored properly and then used properly, which is efficient purchasing of materials, efficient storage, and then efficient usage of those materials. So those are the three aims of materials control. Materials control consists of two control levels. The first one is the quantity controls. Then the second one is the finance controls. So for the quantity controls, it is to ensure that lesser and lesser units should be used in the production process. Like they should try to utilize every material that is being used so that they use less of it. Then finance control, it is for ensuring that investment in materials is kept at the lowest level possible. So it is for making sure that they put in less money in materials. That is finance control. So for the quantity control, it deals with the numbers. Then finance control, it deals with the figures. A good material control system must have objectives. So let's look at the objectives of a good materials control system. The first one is that material of the desired quality will be available when needed for efficient and uninterrupted production. So the keyword here is quality. Material of the desired quality will be available when it's needed to ensure that there is efficient and uninterrupted production. Then the second objective is that material will be purchased only when it is required. And in economic quantities, that is just in time purchasing. You only purchase what you need. So material will be purchased only when it is required. 
so that you do not waste. Then another objective is that the investment in material will be made at the lowest level. Consistent with the operating requirement, like you look at what is required in operation or what is required in the production process, so that you consider that and you make sure that investment in materials is at the lowest level. Like you try to minimize on the expenses. Then another objective is purchase of material will be made at the most favorable prices. So the keyword is favorable prices under the best possible terms. So the person in charge of purchasing the materials is supposed to look out for the supplier that can supply the materials at the lowest possible price but still delivering quality materials then another objective is that material will be protected against loss by fire safety and spoilage so a good material control system should ensure that material is safe from fire from safety from getting spoiled then another objective is that material should be stored in such a way that they can provide minimum of handling time and cost. Another objective is that vouchers will be approved for payment only if material has been received and is available for issue. So the supplier will only be paid after receiving the materials in the store. Then uh, issue of materials are properly authorized and properly accounted for like anyone who goes to the stores and needs materials that request should be authorized from the responsible manager and then that person is supposed to give accountability like why do they need the materials then lastly is that materials are at all times charged as the responsibility of some individual. Like there should be someone that is responsible for material handling or someone that is responsible for the stores. So there should be someone that is at all times responsible for materials. So thanks for watching.